Dudley, Raylan Wood, Price Weimer. She leads the NCAA in 1500 meters and distance coach. Coach Dudley, we'll let you open up with just an overview of SECs, and then we'll take some questions. Well, first, I thank everybody for being here. Um, thank you for supporting track and field. Um, it's always nice for our kids to be able to, to, to do these media events and get the exposure uh, that they deserve. Uh, we're excited about um, SECs, uh, Knoxville and the, the bright new track that they have, which we've already been there. So it's a very nice facility, so we're looking forward to uh, – to uh, competing there as a team and, and also get our national already qualifiers um, even more solid qualified so that um, we'll be prepared for the NCAA championships, which is obviously our ultimate goal as a team as, as well as our, our individuals. So, Anderson, talk about your progression in the javelin and what uh, I know you and Curtis have both been real good at that for a while now here. So just talk about your progression and what are you looking forward to in the SEC? Um, my progression over, the, over this year has been pretty good. Coming in from the off-season training, it has been pretty good. Um, for SECs, I'm just looking forward to producing another season's best in lead up to nationals. So that like my position would be like solid for nationals. Um, training with Curtis so far has been pretty good. He's like been helping me a lot. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be prepared. I know he's been good at this for a while, but anything in particular working well this year or things that happened in the offseason obviously has been a, a really, really good year this time around. I just think the dynamic between the three jazz guys is what, you know, makes my one makes my job easier and uh, just help overall make them better athletes because uh, they just feed off each other and just make each other better, you know. I was going to ask, I know it's been a, sort of a I don't know if the comeback process is the exact right way mm -hmm. to put it, but, but it's been. <laughs> oh, no, it has process, been. It has, yeah. 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 It's been a long yeah. process, but it's, it's getting there now. Well, yeah, I was going to ask, I mean, it, it feels like you're, uh, perhaps you've reached uh, the end of that. Maybe you're, you're back where you want to be. And how's that all been? And maybe I'm wrong, but, but how's the, the whole process and journey been? I mean, at the start, it was definitely rocky. It was, it was stressful, but um, no, it's definitely right where it needs to be at the moment. And. I mean, training and practices have been going better than they ever have been. So I think it's just about at that point where it's exciting just to see where I can go and where the final um, moment can be sort of thing. And just trying to finish strong and see what my final season has for me. So, no. Susan, I know you obviously you've been around her a long time. You know the ability she has. But is it, uh, maybe not surprising is the right word, but encouraging to see how far she's come it, it is and it but and I think last year um I don't think last year was that bad I'm just <laughs> gonna say it um to be ninth in the country and leading the race with a lap to go at the national championships and not winning by 1.2 seconds she was actually 1.2 <laughs> seconds away from winning the second one last year and, and we did have to it was, there were some struggles to get to that point there it was it wasn't a pretty road nope. but you know she was a two-time All-American last year alone, um, so it certainly wasn't a, a fair. A lot of people would like to be on her comeback trail <laughs> along the way. Um, but yeah, things have been going good. Um, training is, is hard this time of year, um, so as the, the next few weeks come in, we'll start backing off a little bit, getting a little bit fresher legs, so hopefully that leads to huge per performances, and you know she'll go into SECs and try to win. And if she does, there's two or three others that have a chance to win as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they'll all see each other again at Nationals and they'll do it again. Um, but we're going to go in and, and we're going to be aggressive and we're going to race to win and see where that puts us. Kind of to add to that, anytime, and we've been fortunate enough to have several NCAA champions, um, several uh, future NCAA champions, um, once you win it, it's, it's hard to describe that the weight that the expectations that are on those, I won't say kids because they're younger than we are. Um, you're already dealing with the hard training school, you're already dealing with whatever setback that you had that you're battling back from, and then every time you hit the track, the rest of the world forgets that, that you've had to overcome some stuff and the expectations are still there. So every time you're on the track or every time you're on the field, they expect a record. They expect you know crazy things to happen and unfortunately, the, there's a lot of good people in the NCAA. There's a lot mm -hmm. of good people in the world. 
So it's going to take a process to get back up the mountain, so to speak. And the, the climb the second time a lot of times is way, way harder than even the, the first time just because now you're dragging the expectations of being an NCAA champion and a high-caliber athlete. Um, I'm not saying that we don't want high-caliber athletes, but sometimes success happens so fast, it's almost too fast. We've had that happen with freshmen that's done unbelievable and then all of a sudden they're having to deal with it their whole, whole career. Sometimes it's better for that – improvement just to kind of be linear that way so um, I know we've been extremely proud no matter what happens this year for her she, she came back for a, for a fifth year to help the program out and, and to better herself and and it takes special special people to be able to do that we can ask about your javelin group too obviously you've been around the sport for a long time how unique and impressive is it to have that strong of a trio together. It's it's unprecedented, and I think you can. I think there's a list over that tells you all the people that's thrown over 80 meters. We got three just on this team that's on the team now. Um, I'm not quite sure any schools even got three in the top 30 ever. So yeah, I mean it's it's uh, it's cosmic, it's a, and it's and it's beautiful to watch. I mean, if you watch one of us throw the javelin, it's not very beautiful. <laughs> I mean, somebody <laughs> throwing it almost 300 feet, that sucker is humming. And it's, 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 it's beautiful, especially to watch them come off, each hand come off our athletes. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty special as well. So, plus they're, they're, they're great kids. I mean, Anderson, Anderson's had to battle through stuff as well. You know, he's a fantastic student. And, and he holds himself at a high standard, not just on throwing the, throwing the javelin high. Um, so, that's, that's very nice to see as well. Because, again, we're not going to get to a point where we can win an NCAA championship as a team if we're not dotting our and crossing their T's and, and everything. We're, you know, if you're walking across the road against somebody, you got to get to the other side first. I mean, that's that's the mentality that you got to have. Show up first, leave last, right? Yep. <laughs> that's mean that practice. We can show up first and leave first, placement wise.